I've been told uh, repeatedly that uh, when, when a guest steps on campus, uh, he or she senses a certain peace, a certain um, shalom. Kono offers structure and consistency. And in that, kids can figure out who they are away from the worldly things, away from the iPods and the computers and uh, the bad influences. There's not even the temptation of, hey, let's go out and smoke. Being away from all that makes you focus on your studies, and your job is to study as a student, so that really helps you a lot. We're able to uh, offer two things, I think. One is structure, and one is uh, a loving relationship. We had to go to breakfast at 7 o'clock. It was mandatory, and back home, I never got up before 11 o'clock and it made me less lazy. First of all, there's cleaning your room, which has to be done every day. Also weekly, you have to do your own laundry. It's a good thing to always keep on top of that or else your room will start to smell. Being here, it's had me become more responsible in, in working um, in school and in just my personal life too. I know a lot of students, uh, they think that it's bad to be out in the middle of nowhere and they don't like it, but um, it really helps you you know, not focus so much on the world and just focus more on where you are and what you're doing and, you know, the, just the creation that God has made because it's really quite awesome. The sunsets are beautiful. It's my favorite part of living in Iowa. So, I, yeah, I love where Kono is. We want to maintain that so that young people have a place where they can experience um, authentic childhood or authentic youthfulness where they're, they're free to be young people. They don't have to grow up too fast. They stop people from feeling like they have to be a certain person, like a certain model of a human that's expected like in public schools or something, and you can just be who you are. I was very shy when I, when I first came here, but I changed because like, I'm living with a bunch of guys who are from different nations or areas. The best thing I think about Kono is you react with many different kinds of people. You're all boarding students, you're all like far away from home, so everybody's a little bit confused <laughs> about what they're supposed to do and what they're not supposed to do, and you help each other through that and you learn from each other. Yeah, we just live together and we do everything together, we eat meals together, um, we go to church together. The students can come to us at any time. 24 hours a day, if we're having trouble with math, you know, that student, if that student's having trouble with math, they can go knock on the math teacher's door. My dorm parents have always been there for me. They really, like, loved me, like, friendly. For example, when you're feeling down or something, they don't just come and say, well, I hope you feel better tomorrow. They'll give an opportunity, they'll come and talk to you, they'll be like, um, they'll bring scriptures with them to guide them. My basketball coach, Mr. Underwood, he always tells me um, I'm your biggest cheerleader because when my grades were bad when I was a freshman, he was always encouraging me, hey, come on, you know, you, you got to play basketball for me. You can have a place where all you emphasize is structure and you can have a place where all you emphasize is relationship. And doing both uh, in tandem is what often leads to success with young people. I think I learned how to develop relationships um, because Kono taught me that relationships with other people and with God is the most important thing. We are not after robots. We are after kids and families with changed hearts. Because it's for eternity. I get eternity with you and that's my goal and I want your heart. My high school taught me to live in a godly way, that pleasing God and being successful in the world too, and first, first and foremost glorifying Him. And if you do that, then all the rest will fall into place. We have seen a high degree of success with kids who need a place like this, a safe place, 
a place where uh, there's a positive adult relationship, where adults are reaching out and looking in kids' eyes and saying, we hope for you.